Hi everyone, so I went to New York City Comic Con this weekend and had so much fun. I dressed up as that second Pokemon cosplay that I had uploaded, uh, the one with the, the sleeveless hoodie. It was cute, it was st stupid, but cute. <laughs> The wig was fun at least, it hurt, but it was kind of fun. So yeah, I ended up did use that little bow tie, hair bow clip. I actually used it in my wig. My friends put it in my hair, so I was like, whatever. And someone complimented me on it. So there we go, I incorporated that little clip somehow. I was comfortable at least though, because it was breezy here and I was wearing shorts. So, you know, we were four people that went in total, two of us, uh, me and another friend, stayed on top or I guess it's the top floor where they are selling stuff and then the two other people we went with didn't really care enough about that at all so they just waited online to see celebrities and get autographs which me and my other friend didn't care about so it worked out well and they had so many things we didn't get to go to any panels my other friends didn't really care about any of that so I was okay I got to shop so basically there were booths for major companies where they were like displaying figures and things maybe that are coming out soon or things they already have on sale. And then there was like Nintendo who had demos and games you could play. And then there were comic book uh, companies there with different books to sell. And there were like indie companies. And then there were stores that were there selling a whole wide selection of merchandise. And there were people selling wigs and costumes and toys. It was really super fun and I got a few things there is one thing that I really want so if anyone knows where to get it I'm gonna ask you guys right now so maybe someone knows so I don't even remember the brand I looked and then I forgot it so it is a bunny stuffed animal it's about it's pretty big it's like that big it's flat though and they have a few different patterns on it and it just has like a nondescript little smile and the one I liked was it had a heart and then it was plaid. It was really cool and I should have bought it, but I didn't and I was sad when I didn't buy it. And it was really cuddly. So, you know, if anyone knows of something like that, please tell me where I can get it. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is two t-shirts I got from Tea Turtle. So, there's the business card. And I don't know if they have like artists that work with them and then they sell their designs or how that works because I've seen some of these designs other places before. So yeah, I don't know how that works. But the first shirt I got is so awesome. It is a Little Mermaid and Doctor Who crossover t-shirt. How cool. Wow. So I love Doctor Who and Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie. Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. And she would totally travel with the doctor. So that was really cool. And I've seen that picture online before. So I really liked it. Then I have this really awesome Eevee shirt. They had a lot of Pokemon shirts that were sold out already. So I was pretty lucky. I think this was one of the last bigger sizes. So here we have this Eevee shirt. And it's actually a softer material than the other one. So I've worn this already. And I like it a lot. So it has like a Pink Floyd thing going on. And it has... Eevee and then the different evolutions except for the new one Sylveon but that's okay then I got some plushies so I really wanted one of these a Arpicasso is that how you say that uh the little the little alpacas so cute this one is fake I'm pretty sure especially you can tell where like this eye is too close to that side and this one's fine but it's still cute. They actually had a bunch of booths selling these, so I don't know if any of them were legit, but I went with this one because I love the sailor motif because I'm totally into anchors and things. It's just a thing. But uh, I thought this was so cute and she's really soft and cuddly. Or is it a boy? Who knows? Pink could be a boy too. So the next one I got, which was from the same booth, I don't remember the name, what stinks, as that bunny plushie I really wanted. But here is, I thought this was so cool, and I didn't even know what it was, so I looked it up online. A plushie from Hangry and Angry. They're a band from Asia. I don't remember where, like if they're from Japan, Korea, or China, but 
I thought they were real cool and so cute. And I love the little punk dress she has on. Her tail is posable as a wire in there. And her feet are also. And then she has a little hanging cross and a little hanging, I think it's like a version of her. So I thought that was cute. And then there's a little paper clip and there's chains and so punk, so cool. She's not very cuddly, so I'm gonna keep her over there where all my other cute plushies are and I'm gonna just display her. And the last one I got, which I'm really excited about, is a vamplet vampire kitty. And I love this one, although I am a little disappointed that I didn't get him from the actual vamplet's booth. I went to Vampire Freaks, which is a website that sells some pretty cool things, but they had a really cute booth and this girl was really sweet and she was like, oh, come right in. And I didn't go by the Vamplitz booth until like right after. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't get it directly from Vamplitz, but it was a little cheaper, it was $20 there, which I think is like a dollar and change cheaper than, than what you could get on the website. And then I guess you also pay shipping. So it was a little bit cheaper, which is nice. I didn't get a bottle of blood though, which I believe that this one comes with if you buy them online. So I don't know if they would have given me that at the Vamplitz website, but still really cute and really soft. So I like it. Um, it's probably a little scary, but I think he's so cute. Although, you know, maybe it's a girl, but I'm gonna say it's a boy. I think he's really cool. And I've just been kind of cuddling with this one because it's so soft. And that is what I bought there. I was gonna get a Sailor Moon SH figure art, but it was a little bit more expensive than I feel like I could have gotten online, so I passed. I actually was expecting to see more of them, although I guess I wasn't really, really looking too hardcore for it, but I only saw one booth selling. I think they only had one, maybe. And I don't know, maybe people bought them from other booths already, but I was gonna get Sailor Moon, and I probably will get them eventually. I love Sailor Moon, so that will happen, but I really would like to know where I can get that really cute bunny from, if anyone knows. So, if anyone else went to New York City Comic Con, tell me how much fun you had. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon, and goodbye.